हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर कॉमर्स क्लास एंड यू नो दैट फ्रॉम योर कॉमर्स बुक वी स्टार्टेड चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टेंथ स्टाफिंग एंड अबाउट स्टाफिंग यू नो दैट इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर इज अ नीड फॉर द पीपल टू परफॉर्म वर्क द स्टाफिंग फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फुलफिल द रिक्वायरमेंट एंड फाइंड द राइट पीपल फॉर द राइट जॉब एंड यस्टरडे वी ऑल्सो कवर्ड वन मोर पॉइंट दैट इज रिक्रूटमेंट रिक्रूटमेंट इज सिंपली अ प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रोस्पेक्टिव इम्प्लॉयज stimulating and encouraging them to apply for a particular job or jobs in an organization it is type of positive action okay and you know that selection it is negative action so today my topic is selection so c students topic selection now what are the learning objectives meaning of selection important procedure of selection so before starting c key terms so student what are the objectives of selection process number 1 is the objective of selection process is to get the best applicant available who meets all the selection criteria and advertisements is placed and application received are screened and top best candidates application are chosen through an initial screening for interview so these this one is the main objective reason why selection process required when you are selecting when you are screening the candidates and selecting the best one for your company so before starting c key terms number 1 key term is development it is a process by which capacity of manager are improved to take up more difficult and challenging task means simply when the manager develop improve the skills to do more difficult task next one is education education simply when you are providing knowledge to even your employees also okay not in case of students only it refers to improvement of knowledge general knowledge and developing an overall understanding of the total environment it is an enlightening process next one is manpower planning manpower planning means when you decide in your company how many men's manpower how many employees required it it is considered as manpower planning it is the process by which management determines how an organization should move from its current manpower position to its desired manpower position means when you decide it to move from your current man per position to desire where you want to go how much employees required and how much employees in your organization already working and when you are planning for future regarding the man per is considered as man per planning its main objective is to obtain the right people at the right time next one is placement the process of assigning a specific job to new employees is termed as placement ki when you assign the job to new employees placing the right person at a right job is the main purpose of placement so these are the key terms now i am going to discuss with you one company selection procedure that is hul selection procedure act hindustan unilever limited hindustan unilever limited adopts a systematic and integrated selection process to select the best possible candidates the selection of candidate is made mostly through the campus recruitment through in some cases posts are advertised various steps are selected selection process followed by hul are as follow so which so here the main point is main campus recruitment and with the help of post are advertised means two sources here two recruitment methods they are using number 1 is campus recruitment number 2 is advertisement various steps of selection process followed by hul rs follows number 1 step screening means examining so firstly they check out uh, with the criteria set if your post post criteria is btech required but 10 candidates applied and they are having degree of bcom so in this way they match up examine 
so if according to post btech required then they are not not matched with the eligible criteria so they reject they reject the applications of those candidates so see at the first step there is a screening of application as hul receive large number of applications the applications are screened on the basis of eligible criteria fixed by the company the initial application form is quite brief those who are selected at this stage are required to fill detailed application form which seeks factual information about the candidates along with their personality features and attitude second one is preliminary interview so a preliminary interview is held for all those candidates who are selected at the screening stage this interview is conducted by a single interview generally 3 4 interview sessions are held simultaneously so 3 4 interviews held simultaneously the basic objective of preliminary interview is to assess whether the candidates are suitable prima facie so what is the meaning of here students prima facie it is simply a based on what appear to be true at first ki what they are deposited true at first at this stage information about the company is given to the candidates okay in third stage group do group discussions okay group discussion is conducted for those candidates who are found acceptable at the preliminary stage so if they are acceptable at preliminary stage then only group discussion and after group discussion a final interview is conducted by a panel of interviewers consisting of 3 4 very senior managers the final interview is detailed one so this one detailed interview fifth stage after the completion of the above steps candidates are selected provisionally subject to their medical fitness and fifth level medical fitness and sixth medical examination is conducted of all those candidates who are selected provisionally those who are found medically fit are selected finally okay then seventh and last step is those who are selected finally are informed and congratulated by the chairman of the selection committee formalities of employment contract etc are completed by the hr department of the company subsequently so here what is the criteria hul hindustan unilever following number 1 is you are screening you applied as a candidate then screening and second one is you are you are filling the detail form third one is preliminary interview fourth one is your group discussion then main interview after main interview your medical examination then finally you are selected so student after the selection procedure see your books page number 271 importance number 1 importance so importance of benefits of employee selection is it helps to minimize the absenteeism and labor turnover labor will not leave you very easily if you selected the employee's laborer wisely it promotes the job satisfaction of employees by putting the right person at right place if you putting the right person at right place then employee feels satisfaction okay it helps to achieve the higher quality and quantity of performance because right person at right place working it helps to improve the overall efficiency and profitability of the organization by placing the right person in the right job it reduced it helps to reduce the cost yes this will also reduce your cost because right person at right place working no wastage of time efforts even money also okay these all are the importance of employee selection so students see in the next part selection process i already one discuss with you selection process of hul now see what is the criteria the company is adopting number one scrutiny of application so candidate apply you when examine the application forms then preliminary interview okay is preliminary interview okay then the next phase is specialized application form they fill specialized application form detail form if no then rejected then testing after application form testing is test okay the next final interview and is final interview okay if final interview is okay 
then checking references which is provided by the candidates so the next is reference okay if your reference checked okay then selection then medical test then is medical test okay then job offer employment contract and if medical test is not okay then rejected applications so this one is the full fledged procedure the companies adopting while selection now students it's time for your homework questions note down the questions number 1 question what is selection number 2 what is placement number 3 distinguish between recruitment and selection number 4 explain the steps of selection procedure and with your schooling must refer the youtube links for more better understanding of the topic thank you